Jamaican man in Florida sets raccoon on fire. Bless up peeps, DC Steven at the building and don't worry yourself, I have the video with the old man himself at about what happened and why I'm do what I'm do. Yeah man, I'm play the video right after this but right now I'm going to run through a little explanation of what the police them say and what happened when the neighbor see him do what I'm do. <laughs> so I'm going to say. Okay, so let's get to the stories. An 88-year-old Florida man was arrested after police said he burnt a trap raccoon alive because the animal had eaten his mangoes. Ezra James told WKMG TV in a story Saturday that last Thursday threw gasoline on a raccoon and lit a match. In addition to the mangoes, James says he was afraid the raccoon might bite him and give him rabies. James lives in the coastal town of Palm Bay, located 75 miles southern of Orlando. The neighbor called 911 as the raccoon burnt alive in the metal trap. James called the neighbor a wicked woman for making the call. Police officers shot the raccoon to ease its suffering. The raccoon was still alive when they arrived, completely burned, with the skin peeled back from the feet from the burns. Authorities say nuisance animals can be trapped and either released or humanely euthanized. James, who is originally from Jamaica, says he was released from jail after posting a $2,000 bail on the charge of animal cruelty resulting in death. He says he will not do it again. I don't wanna, I don't really, really wanna, I don't wanna go to jail no more. Tell me which song that people. <laughs> yo, the man say, yo, no more jail for me, now go burn an next raccoon alive. The man say, me upset, star, basically upset him, upset him, no, I said that, but you can see it from um, one I got seen on that video right now. Can I go play the video? I'm going to leave in the comments and tell me what to think about the whole thing because right now, I mean, the man are defending mangoes, but at the end of the day, how animal cruelty that, you see me, I say, burn it alive like that. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to check out the video, leave in the comments, tell me what to think about the whole thing. And have a blessed day, people. Yeah, man. DCS TV, I'm out. Watch the video. Abuse. A man in central Florida accused of setting a raccoon on fire. Yeah, he tried to explain himself as he walked out of jail. Take a listen to this. 88 year old, first time I ever have go to jail. I never thought about killing nobody in my lifetime. No man, no woman, no kid. Just a raccoon, says Ezra James, who after posting his $2,000 bond, describes planning to kill the animal for eating his mangoes. And he says to prevent it from biting him and giving him rabies. I throw some gas, gasoline on him and... and, and James says he set the raccoon on fire after catching it with a metal trap in his front yard. The 88-year-old saying a neighbor saw it and called the police. He still seems upset she did that. She, 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 she's, a, she's a wicked woman. James is originally from Jamaica and says he did not know that authorities would have humanely euthanized the raccoon. When police arrived at 10 o'clock Thursday morning, James watched an officer shoot the raccoon to put it out of its misery. Two shot. He may now have to explain his actions to some disturbed neighbors. I would never have believed he would have done that. James and Nancy Gill have been neighbors for 20 years. You sure days. hope he thinks about it because God don't want us to do stuff like this. I'm not going to catch no more because I learned my lesson. So you won't set another raccoon on fire? No, I don't read that. What you really need to do is call and have somebody come and get him. Not do what he did. Well, James took a taxi home from the county jail. His court date has not been scheduled yet.